Karen Jekley Live. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video tutorial we are going to discuss round robin CPU scheduling. So guys, uh, till now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you do not miss any notification. So guys, now let us start with round robin CPU scheduling. So guys, what is round robin CPU scheduling? In round robin CPU scheduling, they say we divide the C CPU time into equal time slices and then we assign the equal amount of time slices to all the processes which are waiting for their turn to all the processes which are waiting for their turn for example these are the four processes these are the four processes this is their arrival times and these are their burst time so what the cpu does it divides it time into time slices and each process gets his time slice for example, the time slice of CPU in this case, we are taking it as 2. So process P1 comes, it will process P1 first for 2 seconds, okay. Then it will leave P1 and it will jump to P1 again, it will process P2 for 2 seconds and so on. It will keep on repeating them, it will keep on processing them for 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 seconds until all the processes, they finish their processing. Okay, so guys, to explain it, now we are going to draw a Gantt chart and then we are going to calculate the average waiting time and turnaround time. Okay, so let's go. So guys, here are the processes. These are their arrival times and these are the burst time and CPU time slices of 2 seconds. For example, CPU will process them for 2 2 seconds each. Okay, then again it will keep on repeating it until all the processes are done. Okay, so first comes at time 0. At time 0, no, no, let me write it little down. Okay, so guys, at time 0, which process comes? P1 comes. It processes how much it, time it takes. Time slices 2, it processes up to 2. So after it finishes 2, how much burst for P1 is left? For 1 second. Okay. So then at time 2, which process comes? P2 comes. So P2 processes, how much is the time slice? 2 seconds up to 4. And how much burst is left for P2? 4 seconds. Right. So then P3 comes. 2 seconds, up to 6 it goes, how much is left? 2 seconds, okay. Then comes P4 at time 6. So how much is the CPU time slice? It goes up to 8 and how much is left for this? 3 seconds. First complete, 2, 2, 2. So then how much is left, left, left? 1, 4, 2, 3, okay. After this all 4 has done, again CPU will jump to process p1 so now p1 again at time 8 p1 starts but how much time p1 needs now is one second so in this case cpu will end at burst after one second means again p1 will come at time 9 it will finish so p1 is over okay then it goes to p2 so at time 9 p2 comes here and it processes for two seconds and how much burst is left two okay then again after this time 11 which process comes p3 so how much time p3 needs two seconds and what is the burst two seconds so 11 plus 2 13 p3 so 11 plus 2 13 now this also over okay so then again cpu goes to p4 so p4 needs 3 seconds again burst is of 2 seconds 3 plus 2 15 and here is p4 how much is left 1 okay so guys now we are left with two processes p2 and p4 so p2 needs how much time it needs 2 seconds more again p2 comes here so 15 plus 2 gives you 17 p2 also over then comes p5 
4 then comes p 4 so what is p4 p4 needs one second so 17 plus 1 at time 18 p4 also finishes at time 18 p4 also finishes and this is the gantt chart for round robin schedule so guys i hope you understand up to here i hope you understand up to here so guys what is turnaround time so turnaround time is the time which a process takes to complete its execution after it has been submitted to the CPU, right? So how much time a process takes to complete its execution after we submit that process to the CPU is called as a turnaround time. And the formula to calculate turnaround time is completion time minus arrival time. Completion time minus arrival time. And to calculate the average turnaround time, first we need to calculate the turnaround time for each process. So guys here P1. So P1 finished at time 9. Okay. And P1 arrived at time 0. So completion time 9, arrival time 0. Completion time minus arrival time 9 minus 0 gives you 9. So P2 completed at 17 and arrived at time 2. So 17 minus 2 gives you 15. P3 completed at 13, arrived at 4. So 13 minus 4 gives you 11. And P4 finished at 18, arrived at 6. So completion time is 18 minus arrival time that is 18 minus 6 gives you 12. So this is the turnaround time for each process. Now we need to calculate the average turnaround time that will be 9 plus 15 plus 11 plus 12 divided by 4. Why 4? Because total number of processes are 4. So that is how much is this? That is 47 divided by 4 and when you divide 47 by 4 what we get is 11.75. So what is this time? This is the average turn around for round robin scheduling so in guys in this example all the processes they arrived at different times 0 2 4 6 so guys if the processes all had arrived at the same time that is time 0 right then all of finished completion time minus 0 0 0 and then again you add them and you calculate the average turnaround time so guys i hope you understand this i hope you understand this and i hope i made myself clear okay so guys if you like our video please subscribe to my channel all of you thanks for watching and stay